All right, this video is to show how to do a uh, PA calibration on the Flex 5000 uh, in Power SDR. First thing you need, though, is you need a Power Master, Power Master 1, not a Power Master 2, but a Power Master 1. It has a serial port on the back. You need to link it up to your desktop computer. I'm using a serial to USB converter, so uh, I plug it in uh, to the USB port on my computer and then I assign the uh, driver, the USB driver, a COM1. Uh, make sure nothing else is on COM1. And there's some utilities with Power Master that you can uh, use your PC to read, read the uh, power meter so you can verify your COM port's working. Next thing you need to do is reset Power SDR back to factory default. We're going to set up and then click on factory default but before you do that you're going to want to export your database so you can get it back when you're all done but you, you have to go to factory defaults this won't work without factory defaults so your power SDR is going to come back to this the original looking skin you're going to want to focus on the power SDR and then on your keyboard hit shift control and the letter F and that will bring up the uh, PA test and before you click on anything hit clear all now you got to do two things before you run this uh, one is in your uh, app data folder which is a hidden folder uh, for your particular user mine's called radio roaming flex radio systems you have to put a, an empty text file called production no extension on it in this file uh, in this folder otherwise these buttons here will not be uh, uh, they'll be uh, grayed out and you won't be able to click on them so that's first next thing you got to do is you got to put a file in in this folder here flex radio systems power sdr under program data uh, this powermaster.txt which looks like that and those are the calibrations that your meter uh, coupler has written on on the coupler of the power master to uh, correct for the frequency cor correct the wattage output for, for each of these different bands so you gotta create that file put that there so now <clears throat> we're back on this one you can run the bias no problem oh and and also uh you have to put the coupler of the power master on antenna one and you need a 25 ohm load on antenna two just a 25 ohm dummy load on antenna two but on antenna one you need a dummy load with the power coupler in line so i unchecked all the bands just do one band at a time click the band you want to do and uh, you want to run the null bridge first uh, which is just the uh, the SWR uh, the pickup inside the radio call it, it's labeled C45 on the PA board you want to click that and then you want to adjust this meter here for the lowest number you want to null it out so make that the lowest number possible when you're all done get the abort so now you're all done. Now just click the band you want. Here's showing the, the values that were in the file and the reading back from the power master. Now we're going to run the PA calibration for the 15 meter band. So it reads the file and then it steps it steps up the power 1 watt, 2 watt, 5 watt, and then it jumps up 10, 20, 30, all the way up to 100 watts. And then when it's all done, it will correct the uh, reverse power um, SWR and then store all those calibrations. So I suggest you do one band at a time. If it fails, you could lose that band. It would literally turn off the power for that band until you can correct it. So you want to be really careful when you do this. So that's 50 watts, 60 watts.
and mine uh, occasionally uh, it won't make it to 100 watts so you, it'll it'll still work but you won't get 100 watts out necessarily but just make sure you have a good 50 ohm dummy load on antenna one and a 25 ohm dummy load on antenna two so now it's trying for 90 and now it's going to try for 100 almost there it takes its time it doesn't want to overdo it may not make it see the power master is communicating with the flex okay it failed at a hundred didn't quite make a hundred which is what it did before and then it calibrates the SWR based on antenna 2 and then it writes everything to the EEPROM If you want to do just the SWR, then on the keyboard, Control Alternate S will light up the SWR button, and now you can do just the SWR, which is just Antenna 2. And that's it.